He is here because there is magic here. I believe we carry the past, the future, and the present. Please give a warm round of applause for Jala The grandfather of rap. Genocide hung over the heads of the African American people like the sword of Damocles. Like the sword of Damocles. My parents' generation had this sword hanging over their heads. They passed it on to my generation. My generation decided to remove the threat of this sword. In other words, our vibe was, well, look, if you plan on offing us, then come on with it, because we're taking it to you, because we defy it. And our Chinese brothers don't got no plea, but they are hit the unity. Isn't that the way we want to be? At that time period, there were a lot of guys who did martial arts, so that's probably what bonded us together, because we were fighters. But I didn't put that together with him being uh, a member of the Last Poets. I mean, it was a couple of years when I found out. You know, I just knew the Last Poets were a legend in the neighborhoods. And like when I found out he was one of the Last Poets, I was like, no way. So a lot of his music, that's what I perceive it to have been, you know, fighting back through music, through poetry. See, now it wouldn't take much guts to do that because the world is so different. Then for someone, to, for black people to take a stand against the system really was rough in those days. I think his music should be presented to this younger generation because people don't know about it. I mentioned him to people that never heard of him. I think he was robbed of his place, I don't, I'm, should I say music history, whatever, but I think so. <laughs>